Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot at Safer Networking and I'm here today to bring you another video in our web series of SpyBot tutorials and instructional videos for the SpyBot Free Edition. Today's video will be performing a usage track scan using the SpyBot Free Edition. So let's get started with today's video. So welcome to today's video on performing a usage track scan using the SpyBot Free Edition. So what are usage tracks? Usage tracks are your fingerprints in your system. Whenever you visit a website with your browser or open a file, that information is stored deep inside Windows. The information that is stored is not necessarily malicious. In fact, in most cases, it is very useful. For instance, if you want to open a particular file again, you can select it from a list instead of typing the whole file name or browsing the whole directory structure again. But in some cases, you may want to hide your activity because spyware and internet attackers may use this information. These items are also detected during a regular system scan, but there is also an option to run a separate quick scan for usage tracks only. This scan will detect things like cookies, cache, browser history, as well as usage tracks. So let's go ahead and open up the SpyBot Start Center by right clicking on the SpyBot Start Center desktop icon, then choosing Run as Administrator to launch SpyBot with administrator privileges. Select Yes when prompted by the user account control, then wait for the Start Center to load. Once the Start Center is loaded, click on the System Scan icon in the Basic Tools section to open the System Scan window. If you are using a licensed edition of SpyBot Plus Antivirus, a system scan will begin automatically, so you must cancel the current scan before proceeding with a usage track scan. To perform a usage track scan, click the arrow to the right of the system scan button at the top of the system scan window in the last scan area. Here you should see the option to start a scan or scan for usage tracks. In licensed editions of SpyBot Plus Antivirus, you should also see scan with different options and show scan results. Click on Scan for Usage Tracks to begin a usage track scan. The System Scan Progress area should appear as a scan begins checking for usage tracks. The scan should be completed within a few seconds. Once the scan is finished, we should see the Scan Results window. Here you should see a list of all of the detected usage tracks and cookies found on your system. At the bottom of the scan window, it lists the duration of the scan and the number of detected items. In this case, the scan took little over 10 seconds to complete and it detected 14 items. If there are certain items that you would not like to remove, you can untick the checkbox beside the desired item to prevent its removal. In this case, we are going to untick the box beside History. This will prevent your browsing history from being deleted by SpyBot. To remove the detected items, click the Fix Selected button at the bottom of the Scan Results window. Please be patient while the scanner removes the detected items. Once the items have been removed, a green tick should appear beside each item that was successfully added into SpyBot's quarantine. Once we have finished removing the detected items, we can click Back to Overview to return to the System Scan window. In the last scan area, we now see your computer has been scanned today at 15 minutes to 1 and down below in the progress area we see the scan took 10.03 seconds and 14 items were detected. These numbers will vary depending on the amount of files present on your system and how many items were detected. You can review the detected items again if you wish by clicking on show scan results in the last scan area at the top of the system scan window. Now that we have finished scanning for usage tracks, we can close the system scan window and the SpyBot Start Center to conclude today's video tutorial. So that's it for today's video on performing a usage track scan using the SpyBot Free Edition. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any queries, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on the Safer Networking website. I've been Rob from Team SpyBot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.